smells, that man smells, Robin laid an egg. Well, I'm Ranger Cookie. And this is what I call the getaway cap. This is the middle of this DeSoder forest. And I want to show you this little campsite that was on my GPS. So I want to take you down to this little campsite, show you how far you have to go to get to it. It's a nice little walk. And I want to show you how far it is. This is more like a backpacking camp out. I kind of hate it because you park your car way up there on, on the road. So you can't watch your car as you go camping. That's the flaw about this campsite. But it's away from everything. It is so quiet out here. Now you probably go insane because there's no cars, no noises, just the crickets of na and nature. Take a listen. That's how quiet it is out here. But I want to take you, show you this little thing. It's uh, Hoyles, Hoyles Creek. That's the name of this park that we're ready to go to. It's not far. Maybe, maybe uh, four blocks, but it has a trail. It's, I mean, it's got a road. You can't beat that. You backpack your stuff in. But I noticed this before I get to this campsite. There's an opening right here. I think this is part of the campsite area. It's all open back there and there's a little creek. I think you can camp there if you wanted to. Then you can take a little hike after you get your camp down. You can take a hike to this little camping site down here this is called a recon for the hollows creek park the way the damn map shows that you could drive right to it but it seems that you can't drive right to it yeah so only flaw I think about this place is the walk and you have to leave your car up there on the road which anybody can drive by and do stuff to your car and dig in it and but here it comes here it is see a little green area up here it's a nice little camping area hammock camping um it has its flaws i mean you can go down there and hammock camp Come up here. Ah. Nice sunny area, I tell you that, for campers. A couple of things are wrong about this place already. A stagnated water. Not recommend to drink it anytime soon. Let's do in the rainy season. You know, the creek runs. But if you go across that log and over there, you probably find a couple of good camping areas for hammocks. Or you can go across this rinky dinky bridge 
and do some fishing. So let's take a look across the, the creek and see what we can find for hammock camping. And this is a, a good area to get away from everything. Electronics, cars, you name it. Just to get away from everything. This is the spot to be. All right, check for snakes. Snakes no good. Walk across the deadly log of infernal. Let's take a look. Check for snakes. It's kind of cold for snakes, but you never know. One can be sunbathing, so always check in the sun. All right, here's the other side. Plenty of firewood. Plenty of camping areas for hammocks. Hammock. Uh, hammock here, this tree, this tree. Let's take a look at the water and see how well the water is. So my friend Grumpy, if you want to come out here and camp, Try something different. This is a free park, I noticed. There's no pay. Looks like there's plenty of firewood. If you want to build a fire, if you got no fire bands out here. And that's the creek. Dried up creek, because it's October. Well, November now. But it's all dried up. Looks like it gets pretty high. So we probably be walking in water. Yeah, see how high it gets. Mm. Uh, we be swimming with the fishies right now during the wet season. All right, I ran your cookie. I hope you enjoy Hollow Hello's Water Park. Or no, I'm sorry, Water Creek park all right i'm ready to kick you wait a minute let me show you everything i don't i want y'all to see everything before we go now the water doesn't look like so stagnated from this side but it is i don't see no feces looks like this side would be the fishing there. the fishing side <laughs> All right, now we've seen everything. I range a cookie. This is Hollow Creek Park. See you next time. You remember earlier when I said uh, I was up there on the road that this looks like a camping area? Well, it is. Um, when I was coming back, I saw this jug here. I'm like, what the hell is this jug? Well, I saw it. it looked like a TV, but it wasn't. It was uh, this. When I came down here to inspect this TV looking thing, I found some beanie weenie cans and some old cans that you've never seen before. And it's a, it's a nice little camping area. Um, just to show that it is a good camping area, and it is a camping area, come see this. When I was coming down here, I saw that TV looking thing. I thought it was a TV. And I know there's all kinds of trash down here, so somebody's been using this area as a some type of picnic area. And look at this. Here's a cool little artifact. A little burn pit or something. You can burn stuff here. Pretty cool. So I think this was the original park. And later on you moved it down to the creek because that looked like a tv up there on the road so i'm like what the hell is that so i guess this was the old park and just and this neglect of the park and they didn't want to clean it i guess so i guess this was because on the map my gps says around the corner of the road it should be the park and this is that little park and artifacts everywhere's point this used to be a park 
now it's run down but I bet you can still camp out here put your campsite over there by that fire pit and uh, have a little fire you don't have to worry about it spreading and up here is the road and remember earlier and see there's another brick here so it shows you that this used to be some type of park where people used to camp at and they'll probably park their cars in here because I noticed this little run through here like you can pull your car through and over time these trees grew in certain spots blocking the road to the campsite below but that's that little campsite I showed you on the way back there all right I ran your cookie so I guess I was right about that area a little exploring a little digging and you'll find some stuff all right I ran your cookie see you on next video <laughs> love you